All right, guys, we're back out in that old area. It's actually been about two weeks since we've been detecting last. Been pretty busy with other stuff. And uh, first one we got, we got an old square nail. It's definitely the old, the old rose, uh, rose head type. So we're definitely on some old ground. We're in that area where we found the pewter spoon. So uh, let's see what else uh, we can pull out of here. All right, guys, we've moved over to a different area of the park. We were where we haven't swung much and has had historically, well, at least that I know of, more later activity. But uh, we got ourselves a young Liz, and we got 1957. Pretty cool. Let's see what else uh, we can maybe eke out of this area for old stuff. Man, when the soil is dry, the, the small coppers ring up really high. And we've got ourselves a pigeon, pigeon penny centennial, 1967. All right. Oh, what is that sprinkle coming down? All right, I guess we got something a little bit older here than, than the activity. We have the uh, 1970s era camping spot, but we got a 1961. Eh, could could have been dropped then, but uh, this was also the uh, caretaker's uh, garden that shows up in the 1953 air photo. So uh, you never know, could have been dropped by them. All right, we'll see you on the next. Well, not too far from the last one, and we got a 1962, young Liz. Let's see if we can eke out anything older here. We're on the oldest of ground, but, uh, well, the caretakers were working this as a garden. That would have to go back to at least the 1920s, so let's hope so. Well, we got something common going on here, and not too far from the last one. It's a memorial, but uh, it's in the same era, 1960. All right, we'll see you on the next. Well, this one was down about four bars deep, and I love the way these come out in the dry soil. They kind of, it's kind of like a coin lump where it took some of the grass with it and preserved some of the organic matter around it, and the coin is right in the middle of this, so that's, uh, Let's break it open and see. I'm almost thinking it's a lar it's larger, but uh, I don't know. That'd be awesome if it was a large scent. Probably just small though. It's just a big lump. Well, there it is. I what this could be. I wonder if it's a weedy or not. That could be. I don't know. Could be a George maybe. No, oh, I think it's just another young Liz. Let's see. We oh, definitely have some older, older activity in here. This could very well be. Uh, it could very well be in the garden area. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what year? 1961. All right. We will see you on the next. All right, guys. We are on the wheat, and in a pretty big way too. I'm seeing. And just from the patina on this thing, I think we got ourselves. Ah, it's hard to see in this light. But I think we got ourselves a 1919. I don't think it's 1949, but it could very well be. It looks to me more like a 1919, just from, be, from that patina. But we'll have to confirm at home with the magnifying glass. All right, see you on the next. All right, guys, this is just nuts. Uh, this was camping area starting in the early 70s. And uh, we just had a 20 signal out of the hole. And we've got, uh, yeah, we've got some big copper. Oh, <laughs> frig. Oh, that's crazy, man. I would have never expected this out, out here. Wow, we got ourselves another largey. Oh, it's an amazing shape. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, what a beautiful patina. 
Oh my god. Oh, look at that. All right, let's uh, let's wipe it up a bit and see if we can get a year. And we know it's a George V, so uh, we got at least 1911 to 1920. Very cool. This is freaking awesome. I was getting everything around here, uh, mostly in the 60s, but uh, I guess that 1919 uh, wheat kind of uh, has kind of given something away here. All right, let's check it out after we get it cleaned. All right, guys, she's a little bit uh, more worn on this side, but uh, we got ourselves a 1913. Oh, man. That is some sweet, sweet stuff. And look at George on the back. Man, that is one, that is one nice looking coin. Oh man. I would have never expected that out in this area, but it just seems like no matter where you go in this place, you can find old stuff. All right, that is, uh, that's number 31. That's our 31st large scent. Awesome stuff. See you on the next. Well, if somebody's been through this area in the past, uh, this is definitely why they didn't uh, probably get this one because uh, almost beside it, a little bit shallower, we got a nail. Yeah, I just uh, went in the hole afterwards and uh, something came up and that's what it was. All right, see you on the next. Well, it ended up being a nail we were chasing after, but uh, interesting thing I dug out of the hole uh, was this. It's the bottom of a bottle, and this sucker's purple. So this is, uh, yeah, I don't know what was going on in this little spot. Maybe they were using this as a picnic area too, or... Very cool. All right, let's see what else we can find around this little spot. Uh, maybe we can find some old silver. See you on the next. Well, this one was practically on the surface and uh, got ourselves some sort of a, I don't know, a buckle or some sort of part of a fastener. All right, see you on the next. All right, guys, we pulled a few modern pennies from the surface. Then we had a bit deeper signal, and it was ringing up in the high 20s, low 30s. And check it out. Uh, yeah, we were in the camping area, and this is probably from the camping era. I think we got ourselves some silver. Oh, she's a tiny one, probably a kid's ring. I don't know. Let's uh, clean it up a little bit and uh, see if we're right. All right, guys, the marking is kind of tough to make out, but uh, we do have a marking, and I'm pretty sure that's 925. Oh, sweet. We've been on a bit of a drought for silver. It's been almost a month now, I think. Although we haven't been out hunting in two weeks, so uh, yeah, got some catching up to do. All right, pretty nice little ring, 925 silver. See you on the next. Well, we had a nice uh, high 20s, low 30s ringing up down here, but uh, well, we got some scrap copper. Pretty sweet. See you on the next. <laughs>